Hi everyone, my name is Della Phillips. I'm an artist as well as I'm known as the Bicycle Way. How you doing today? Now, if you find this video enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. That way you won't miss out on any future videos and it lets YouTube know that you like this type of content as well as it really helps me out a lot. Now, this book is Watercolor Essentials by Bridget O'Connor. This is one of the books I'm going to be referring to uh, as I go through practicing watercolor and doing watercolor. I uh, just want to show you the references up front with this video that I'm going to be referring to. And this is one of the primary ones I'm going to be using. It's not a recent release. It was released by North Light Books in 2009. But it does go through absolutely everything. And as far as color goes, I may be skipping over or just briefly touching on this using this reference. I intend to get more involved with color and exercising with uh, various aspects of color uh, to sharpen my color mixing skills uh, later on. Right now I want to go through all the essentials and practice those skills. And this is a great book to do it with. She goes through absolutely everything. And I'm glad I have this in my collection. Another book I'm going to be using in conjunction with that for exercises is this book by Jan Kunst. I also like her watercolors a lot. And it's a great book. I love the, yeah, I love the uh, Poncietta. I believe this came out in 1999. Yes, it's here. Uh, it's up there. But the great thing is she does briefly touch upon everything. And she goes through, you know, introducing the color wheel and color mixing. But you can get far more uh, into that and really practice that skill, which I intend to do later on after I go finish up with all this. But the other thing is she goes through value and she gives you drawn patterns because she does say in the book that she doesn't want you spending time drawing she wants you spending time practicing the various aspects of watercolor and build on that so she gives you all the different patterns now even though you paint in the patterns it may be slightly different than hers this is still her pattern it's still her artwork so you really can't sell it and the proper way to uh, sign this is copied uh, artwork by and then copied by uh, or you can put if that's too much writing in the front is put copied by and on the back say uh, artist by so-and-so copied by so-and-so so I'm going to go through this and she first goes into tone practicing tone with this exercise and with paint and as you can see there's quite a few things that she gets into and uh, like, the first time I went through this, I did this and gave it away, but I still said art by and copied by, and you can't sell it for profit. In the past, some people did show in, in works, and it caused a lot of uh, upset and, and uh, questions and so forth about tracing, and is it really... I mean, you can draw out the patterns and come take, take it over to your artwork can be original as long as you drew it and composed it. But using somebody else's work is still using somebody else's work. But in this case, when you use it, you're practicing. And that's the way it should be kept. So this is a great practice book with all the patterns. And I'm going to be working through this in conjunction with working with this. Now besides these two books, I'm also going to be referring to this book. Now, this book is a result of a combination of two books that he came out with, which I believe is the Watercolor Essential Notebook, which first came out. Uh, that was in the 1990s, I believe. And then the second one, which is a Landscape Watercolor Notebook. They're both great books, and then it got combined in this compendium, which came out later. And I believe this is like in the other 2000s. I'm not sure about that. I don't see the title page here, but I, it has been a while. You can get them used. 
Uh, you may still even be able to get this new, I'm not sure. Uh, check your various used booksellers as well, both online and your local dealers. But it's great. He goes through materials, goes through the basics. Like, here's all the different type of shapes he was using, practicing using uh, a watercolor brush and holding it in different ways and seeing all the different shapes and things you can get with a brush. And you can practice your brush techniques. So this is a very good reference as well to, to complement the other two. Okay, these are the watercolor books I'm going to be using in the coming videos. And uh, in addition to, I'm going to be utilizing my knowledge and experience from various workshops and interacting with other watercolor artists and getting some tips that way. If you have any suggestions or tips, please put them in the comments. I will promptly respond. I do appreciate comments. And uh, also, please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. That will help me out a lot with YouTube. And until next time. You have a great day.